Let us now try to illustrate mixed fractions. Illustrate means drawing a sketch and mixed fraction means which has both whole numbers and fractions. Correct? So let's try to illustrate mixed fractions. So we have here three of them. First one is 1, 3 by 4. Second is 3 and a half. And the third one is 2, 3 fourths. Well, you can pause the video, sketch, and then watch my video for suggestions. You can do that. Now here is my suggestion. When we want to illustrate 1, 3 by 4, we could use rectangle, we could also use circles. Let's use circles this time. So let me make one whole, that means one full circle, and then 3 fourth is a fraction. So we'll make another circle, and then we'll shade a fraction of it, right? So one whole, that means shade the whole fraction. Now since we are talking about fourths, it is a good practice to divide your circle into one fourth. So let's divide it. And it is better to even divide the whole circle. Now that looks better. I'll show you how it helps. Now let me shade one whole. That means one whole has been shaded. Three out of four. That means three out of four. Let's say these three will shade. Okay. And leave one fourth. So that is 1, 3 out of 4. Now think about it. If I have to write this as improper fraction, how can I write? Can I write? Well, let's think like this. This is 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, 4 fourth, 5 fourth, 6 fourth, 7 fourth. I can write this as 7 over 4. Does it make sense? I think it does. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, 7 fourths. So you can write mixed fractions as improper fractions, correct? And you can also illustrate them. So all go hand in hand. You see that part. Now let's do 3 and a half. I think now you can pause the video and try illustrating 3 and a half. And also writing this mixed fraction as an improper fraction, right? So what we have here is improper fraction. So this one is improper fraction. And here we have a mixed fraction. And that's the diagram which connects them, right? Now, let's see how to do three and a half. Three and a half means Let's make uh, three circles, okay. Let's do with triangle this time. Come on, let's do with triangles. Okay, so we'll make three triangles this time. That means three whole triangles and one half. Three and a half. Do you see that? So what we will do? Let's divide them into halves. We need to divide them into halves since denominator is two. That shows that in the figure, it should be divided into two equal parts. So three holes. So let me shade all three of them first. And then I will shade the last one. How much? Half of it, correct? So I'll just shade half of it. So that makes it three and a half. Now, can I write this as improper fraction? Let me see. One half, two half, three half, four half, five half, six half, seven halves. So 7 over 2, that is good enough. So that is 3 and a half is equals to 7 and, a, 7 and a half, 7 halves. Okay, so that's how we can do. Now how to do 2, 3 by 4? That should not be difficult. Let me use rectangles this time. We can use any shape, right? It is our choice. So two full rectangles and the third one we need three fourths, right? That means we leave one fourth. Now in a rectangle, how will you divide into four equal parts? So best way is draw a vertical line from the center and horizontal line from the center. So that way is we get one fourth, right? Think I've joined the centers. I know it's not that good, but still serves the purpose. 
two holes so let's shade two holes right so that is my two holes one and that's the second one two holes and three out of four three out of four so one two three so that becomes two holes and three out of four can I write them as improper fraction also oh yeah one fourth two fourth three fourth four fourth five fourth six fourth seventh fourth eight fourth ninth tenth and eleven fourth so that is how I can write it as improper fraction I hope now you understand fully well what are mixed fractions, what are improper fractions and how they can be illustrated and how are they connected. And also remember we can use any shape but the important thing is whenever you divide try to divide it into equal parts, right? Do not draw horizontal lines for circle to make it one fourth. It will be wrong, correct? Now. For you as an exercise, let me give you some questions. Now, I'm giving you mixed fractions. You need to illustrate them and write them as improper fractions. So instead of 1, 3 by 4, try to do 1 and a half. And instead of 3, 1 over 2, try to do 2, 3 over 4. And then instead of 2, 3 over 4, let's take up an example as 3, 1 over 5. Okay. Let that be your practice exercise, okay? So try to practice them and see if you can do. If not, you can get back to me. I hope you like this video. Share with your friends. Thank you and all the best.